Alright guys, welcome back to our next video. Alright guys, so I know it's been a week that uh, SteamOS is out now and it's officially from Valve. So everyone can install it on their devices, which is the Lenovo Legion Go and also the Asus Rogue Ally family, right? So it's been out for a week and I've been using the preview version or beta version as they would call it on my Asus Rogue Ally. And I'll be doing installation of the official release on my device right now. I'll be showing you all the steps how to get it done. And it will be the same process on the Legion Go and also the Asus Rogue Ally. I'll be reinstalling the official release version of SteamOS on my Asus. But I'll be doing all the process on my Lenovo Legion Go, which is downloading all the softwares and stuff like that. Right now, currently, I still have the beta version on my Rogue Ally but I'll still be reinstalling it so you guys can see what's going on. But it'll be the same process on both device guys. So let me get into it real quick and I'll show you what's going on. But first, um, there's a couple things you guys gonna need. You're gonna need a, either a USB or a memory card, right? I'll be using the memory card today because I got some stuff on here that I need and I don't wanna delete right now, right? Also, you might need an adapter if you don't have one, like one of these. All right, so the first thing I want you guys to do, um, first things first, Hopefully I'm not too late with this installation guide because I know it's been a week and most people have been doing this already, but I'm still gonna make a video just in case everyone is not aware of what's going on right now, right? First thing, the memory card or USB stick that you're using has to be a minimum of 16 gigabytes, right? So when you come on this website, which is a Steam OS website, you just gotta download the recovery image. I'll put a link in the description box down below, or you can go to Google, type in Steam OS, come to the website, and then come down here, right? Right here, it says re-image. You just gotta download on the first click right here, download the recovery image. Let's go through this, hit that, and then hit download recovery image. And then also, while this is downloading, you could go back and then you could download Rufus right here. Rufus, you need this to write the image onto your memory card, right? So you just click this and you download it as well. Let's come down here. When you scroll down here, you just click this right here. Then you press it and it will start with download instantly, right? So now I got my Steam recovery image and also Rufus. All right, so now let's get to the installation process. But first you gotta write the image onto the memory card. So now guys, open up Rufus and also put your memory card in or a USB drive and you will see it get detected up here. So let me put my memory card in real quick. If you look right now, it's not saying anything up top, but once it goes in, it pops up, right? See right here, shows you the memory card. So now you wanna press select. Then you're gonna look for the recovery image right here. Like that. And then you open. So now everything is selected. So now you hit start. Then you hit OK. This will wipe everything off your memory card or your USB drive. So keep that in mind, guys. So now saying writing image and it's at 0%. All right, guys. So when it gets to 100%, that's when you know it's done. So now we close this out. And now we got to disable secure boot. You probably wasn't hearing me earlier because my device was turned off and it's powering my mic. So you have to hold the, the volume up button and also press the power button once, right? And then keep holding the volume up button. Then you will get to this screen right here. So now you want to go to BIOS. You want to go to more settings. First things first, before you disable secure boot, you want to go to configuration. I want to come down to UMA frame buffer. And you want to change this to auto, right? Then you come to security, you come down, then you see secure boot right here, put that, and you want to disable that. Then you could either, if you have a keyboard, you just hit save, 
which is F10, save and exit. But you can just go over here, press exit, and then exit and save changes. All right, so now let's disable secure boot on the Asus Rogue Ally. Already did it, but I'll still show you guys the process. So you wanna hold the power button until you see the device is turned on. And then when you see the second Asus logo, that's when you start holding down the volume button, the volume down button, right? So turn it on, on, so now, volume down button. And now we're in, right? So now we need to get to the secure boot, right? So you wanna press Y. When you get here, you press R1, which is the top button right here. Go to security. Then you come down to secure boot. Press that and you make sure you wanna make sure it's disabled. As I said before, I already disabled mines already, but I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So once you hit that, press A, put it on disable. Then you come over. You press the R1 button again to come over. Let me just go back to make sure yeah, it's still disabled. So come back over to save and exit. Then you press save changes and exit. And okay. All right, guys. So now we got to boot into the recovery image of the memory card, right? So now you're going to turn the device on, press the device on, and then you're going to start holding volume up, right? As soon as you see the second Asus logo, you start holding the volume up, guys. So turn it on on so wait for the second logo up all right so now we're here so now when you come down you're gonna see two partition you're gonna look you're looking for your memory card right two partition so you want to go on the first one hit that let us do this thing for a little bit all right so when you get here you're gonna see wipe device and install Steam It's gonna clear off all everything else for device, guys. Just keep that in mind. So you press this. Then you're gonna hit proceed. Alright, so when it's done, it's gonna pop up say choose proceed to reboot now or cancel the repair image, right? So you wanna click proceed. But let us do this thing, guys, because it takes a little bit sometimes. Not that long, but might look like it's not doing anything but let's wait on it to finish right so now you just hit proceed all right so when everything is done you come right here now you got to set up your system and sign into your profile all right your english choose a time zone install this update sometimes you might get stuck on the screen if you do get stuck you just gotta press this button right here and you can't do it right now but you press it and it just restart or you just restart it manually and now you just got to log into your steam account all right so now we got everything installed all the games are here I haven't started i haven't started downloading anything yet but let's just prepare our device for gaming right and install the tdp the decky load and you could be able to control your tdp and also your rgb lights right so now let's go to desktop mode i'm gonna press this button right here i'm gonna go down to power then you go to switch to desktop mode. All right, when you get here, everything's kind of small, so but we can make some of the stuff bigger, right? All right, so once you get here, you want to go to the system thing right here, the second one from the one from the left. You want to press on that, open up this. Then you want to go to display and monitor. Then you want to bring this up a little bit to make it a little bit bigger, guys. Bring it up to like 200%. Sorry for, for that for now. Hit apply. Let's exit out. Let's go back in there. It's a little bit bigger, right? Let's bring it down to 200%. Go back to there. It's a little bit too big, so let's bring it down to like 200%, right? right there. Hit apply again. Close that out. Head back in here. All right, so now it's a little bit better, easy to see, right? All right, so next thing we need to change your pseudo password, right? This helps you to use your kernel and make changes in your system. And you need to know this password whenever you're doing stuff like that, right? So now when you come back into system settings, you scroll down, go to user, then hit change password, 
click in here, you press X, bring up the keyboard, and you make a simple password that you know you're going to remember. Let's make something simple, right? Then you press leave and change. Then you're all set. Bring the keyboard down. Your password is all set up, guys. All right, so now that's done. Close this out. Now I'll go to Firefox, open it up. You might have to download it. When you open it up, it will prompt you to hit that download button. All right, yep. So install. Let it install this. Let it do its thing in the background. And then I'll let you know when it's ready, guys. All right, so once it's done, hit launch. Now, you want to type Decky. So if you don't got a keyboard, press that. Search. You want to click on the first one. Then you press download right here and let it download. All right, so now once that's, once that's done, you can minimize this or close it. Now you want to go to the file browser right here and go to downloads. And you should see the decky right here. So you want to press that. You want to press execute. Hit continue. Now you got to put the password in. That one first one you made, the pseudo password. So bring your keyboard up. Hit OK. Minimize the keyboard. And now you want to press release recommended for stable SteamOS. Hit OK. So now once that's done, Hey, okay. Then you want to go to all applications. All applications. You want to scroll down to see console right here. So you want to open up that, leave that open. Then you want to go to Firefox, open that up. And you want to type simple deck TDP. And it should be the first one right here, GitHub. You want to click on this, open it up. So once you're here, you want to scroll down. So let's see installation, right here. Click on installation. Then you see you run the file on terminal to reboot and install update and plugin, right? So you want to hit that and press copy. So now you want to go back to the console. Then you want to press paste. Then you want to press A. Then it's asking for your password, right? Same password you make with the sudo. So you want to press X and then you type your password in. Enter. Close the keyboard. Let's do a sting real quick. And yep. All right. So next, let's install Proton. So you could close this out. Then you just go to the store right here. That's the blue shopping bag right there. Open that up. Want to come to the search bar? Bring up a keyboard. And you type Proton. Enter. install and this is for the game that's not really compatible and you use this to make it work better with the steam os system right so then you just press on it then you just hit launch once it's done all right so when you get in here just hit add version and whatever is there you just press install then you will see a progress bar at the bottom let it do its thing then you should be good after that all right so there's one more thing as you guys to install, so you can control your RGB lights. Go to Firefox, come up here, and bring up a keyboard. You're gonna type usync RGB GitHub search. Then you click on the first one right here. Scroll all the way down. Then you're gonna see this one step installation. You wanna copy this, right? Then you minimize that. You wanna go back to your console again. I should have let I shouldn't have let you close it, but Let's go back to your console, go to all application, scroll down right here, open it up. Then you want to paste. Hit A. All right, so when you paste the usync link in here, you got to put your password in, right? So you ask for password, hit X, enter. Let it do its thing real quick. All right, I think it's done. Then the X, X, 
Now let's get back into gaming mode. All right, so once you're here, all the buttons should be working. Yep. Just press this right here, come down, and there you go. You got your U-Sync right here, turn this on. And you could change it to whatever color you want, guys. Pose. Solid. And then you can mess with the hue down here. All right? Let's go back. Now you got your simple deck of TDP. Enable per game profile so you can do it based off of what game you're playing. And also if you come down, got a minimum and max TDP, right? So you could keep this, what well, depends on what game you're playing, as I said before, between 20 and 30. And if you play any any type of retro games, smaller games, then you can bring it down to like 15 watts or lower. And the minimum right here as well, and stuff like that. So depends on what you're doing and what game you're playing. Come down, none is basically down here. Let's go back. Plus the music, you got your battery percentage and stuff in here, and also your overlay. Come here, you got your settings. Yep, and your rumble, Bluetooth, and all your basic stuff. Let's go up. And you got your friends and stuff right here, and you got notification, right? First, let me go to settings real quick and check my controller. Make sure all the buttons are working properly. Come right here, saying Steam controller. Begin test. A is working. B, Y, X. Left, up, right, down is working. Left analog stick, right analog stick. R1. Top right bumper. Top left bumper. Trigger is right here. Is working as well. And then let's try the left trigger. That's working. Only thing that's not working is the back button, guys. In the back, right? But everything else is working perfectly fine. So if I press this, it shows the button right there. And this one shows that one, right? This is the middle one. And this is not shown in here, but it does work. If I exit and press it, it does work. See it? So yeah, everything is all set up. Now you can download all your games and you should be good after that, guys. You get me? So now get into it. Let me know what you think. If you're using Steam OS, if you're not into Steam and you're rather Windows, let me know. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you like what I'm posting, hit that like button. Sub the channel for more awesome content, guys. And what I always say, health is wealth. Peace and love. I'm out, guys. Thanks for tuning in.